Jason Schlarb is a person who is passionate about the outdoors, about traveling, about family. I am first a, a family man. I am Sally McRae. My name is Hayden Hawks. My name is Tim Tolfson. And I'm also a professional athlete. It's in that order. UTMB is, is one of the biggest milestones of, uh, in, in my running and, and racing career. After experiencing the magic of everything these races offer, there was no way I couldn't return. I'm just so excited to race this year. I love the Alps. If I could, I think I would live in, in Aosta Valley because it's just so beautiful. I think the biggest thing is remembering why you're out here. And for a lot of us, it's to try and tackle this challenge and enjoy the incredible landscape. I've always viewed the watch as kind of a critical piece of my gear, something that enhances my experience out in the mountains and not detract from anything that I'm doing. I know that this one, I can trust it. I know that it's dependable. It isn't gonna die on me. thousand feet right now. I need to respect that. I know how to adjust my performance in that moment and not push myself too hard. I know I'm on a 40% grade, but at that point it's probably wiser to power hike and uh, save my running legs for the more runnable sections. We're so lucky to have the technology that we have today. For me, I think it just gives me a little bit more mental peace of mind while I'm racing. And anything positive that I can get during a race like this, it's so challenging, is gonna help me to get to that finish line and all the better. I'm gonna focus on my race you know, my race strategy and and if somebody wants to go hard, I'm going to let them go. If somebody wants to hold back, I'm going to, you know, let them do that. I'm going to focus on me and what I know that I can do. And, you know, all, all I can do is give my best performance. If somebody beats me with my best performance, there's nothing I can do about that. We just got to go out there and we all got to fight for it. It's a 100 mile race. You know, anything can happen in a race like that. I can't even walk. So I had to uh, make a decision. 
and it was a smart decision to drop out of the race. I'm stubborn. I don't like to, to give up. I'm always really hoping that this year goes a little bit better for me. And unfortunately dropped out. I'm not looking for any self-validation or I don't measure my self-worth through results. I'd love to win this race. That's why I keep coming back. But if it doesn't happen, I'm not going to be broken and it's not what I'm seeking out there. It's tough out there, but knowing that there's so many people supporting and pulling for us, trying to really just uh, send us positive support, gets us through those dark, low patches. Yeah, Jason! A few years ago, 10 years ago, I would be really scared. I would panic, I would uh, lose a lot of energy focusing on, you know, fear. Now, after years and years and years of being in these kind of experiences in wilderness, in mountains, I can turn that energy into calm and focus. I have to be out of here, I have to stay controlled. I can get through any of this. That family experience that I had there made it what it was. I know that it's motivated me to, to perform well. And I'm very grateful for my sponsors and all that they do for me. They've supported me in my training and racing. Those kind of experiences are, are ones that uh, are so beneficial and important when I'm racing and when I'm training. They make me who I am, my character, my kind of rock.